Muslims say happy. Mother day to all the Muslims. Amen. 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 Oh, sing unto the Lord mm -hmm. a new song, for he has done marvelous things. Amen. Mm -hmm. His right hand and his holy arm has got him the victory. Mm -hmm. Well. The Lord has made known his salvation. Yes. His righteousness has he openly shown yes. in the sight well, of the heart. Well. Mm -hmm. He has remembered his mercy and his truth toward the house of Israel. Yes. All the end of the earth has seen his salvation mm -hmm. from our God. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yes. 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 All yes. the earth. Mm -hmm. Make a loud noise. Mm -hmm. And rejoice. Mm -hmm. And sing songs. Sing unto the Lord with the heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. And with the heart. Yes. And the voice of a song. With the trumpet mm -hmm. and the sound of the cornet. Mm -hmm. Make a joyful noise. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. yes, yes. The king. Yes, Lord. Let the seas roar and the fulfillment thereof, mm -hmm. the world, and they that dwell therein. Let the floods clap yes. mm -hmm. their hands. Let the hills be joyful together. Yes. Before the Lord, for he cometh to judge the earth mm -hmm. with righteousness. Shall he judge the world? And the people will be quenched. Yes. The Lord's word is already blessed. Amen. Bless his name. Amen. 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 Church, it's the time that we bow our heads in prayer this morning. <clears throat> our Father, which art in heaven, how be thy name? Yes. Lord, it's again, we come again, Heavenly Father. Give our honor, praise, and glory to your holy name, Heavenly Father. Yes. And now that you are God, Father, mighty, before you there is no other. Yes. You are the great I am. You are the kings of kings, and you are the lords of lords. And you oh, can yes. do all things, Heavenly Father, and not fail. Yes. Lord, we come bowing our heads this morning. Giving praises on our lips this morning. First of all, to tell you thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for yes. being so good and so kind, so wonderful, so merciful. Yes. You've been better to us than we've been to our own selves, yes. Heavenly Father. And Lord, we just want to thank you for watching over us while we slept last night, yes. Heavenly Father, yes. and protecting us and watching over us. Lord, we thank you for this beautiful and blessed day that no man, woman, or child has ever witnessed or ever seen, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we just want to thank you for waking us up this morning. Oh, yeah. For we understand it was no alarm clock that could have woke us up this morning. Yes, Lord. It was your love and your grace and your mercy that we did not deserve, but you gave it to us anyway, Heavenly thank Father. You, Lord. And Lord, we understand it was many souls that didn't wake up this morning for one reason or another. But Lord, you loved us so much that you woke us up this morning. And it wasn't because of our goodness, it's because of your goodness. And for that, we want to tell you thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for putting us in our right minds this morning, Heavenly Father. Thank you for giving us the strength to get up out of bed this morning, oh, yeah, Heavenly Father. Yeah, yeah. Lord, thank you for giving us the ability to hear so we may hear your holy word this morning, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the travel gifts you've given us to be at the house of prayer one more time. Yes. For as many souls that want to be here this morning for one reason or another, they couldn't. But Lord, bless them wherever they may be, Heavenly Father. Put your arms, oh, love and arms around and keep them and bless them and protect them, Heavenly Father, so they may have a way next time, Heavenly Father. And again, Heavenly Father, we just want to tell you thank you, Heavenly thank Father. You, Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for watching over us throughout the whole oh, yeah, entire yeah, week, yeah, Heavenly yeah. Father. Yeah. For we understand we could have never made it this far had it not been for you, Heavenly Father. Yeah. For we need you each and every day, Heavenly Father. We need you each and every hour. We need you, we need you each and every minute and each and every second, Heavenly Father. Every breath that we breathe, Heavenly Father, we need you, Heavenly Father. For we understand that Satan is busy going up and down to and fro to see what souls he can devour and destroy. But Lord, protect us and watch over us. Watch over our children, Heavenly Father. Yes. And Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for all that you've done for us throughout the whole entire week, Heavenly Father. 
Thank you for the roof that's over our heads, Heavenly Father. Thank you for, Heavenly Father, clothes that's on our backs that we wear each and every day, Heavenly Father. Lord, we just want to thank you for the food that you supply us with each and every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we just want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to still have our jobs, Heavenly Father. For us, a lot of people, Heavenly Father, that don't have a job for one reason or another. And thank you, Heavenly Father, for always making a way out of nowhere, Heavenly Father. Thank you for the, being the bridge over troubled waters, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we just want to pray and ask this this morning that you would bless the messenger and the message, Heavenly Father. And we just pray whatever it is that we're going to learn today, Heavenly Father. May your words stay prominent in our hearts as well as our mind. Let it change it from the inside onto the outside, Heavenly Father. So it may still fire in us, Heavenly Father. So as soon as we get ready to leave this building, Heavenly Father, we can go out to the world and spread the good news about your word, Heavenly Father, and about your son and all the marvelous things that you've done for us. And everything that you've done for us, you can do for them too, Heavenly Father. For us, a lot of people, Heavenly Father, that don't come to church for one reason or another, Heavenly Father. So when they see us, Heavenly Father, we the closest thing we got to be in the church with them, Heavenly Father. And Lord, we just want to spread your good word and your message, Heavenly Father. For we understand that you brought us a mighty long way, Heavenly Father. Yes. And Lord, we may not be perfect. We, not, we may not be what we want to be, Heavenly Father. But yes. we understand, Heavenly Father, what we used to be, Heavenly Father. And we thank, thank you for bringing us out of that, that low state that we was at, Heavenly Father. Regardless of whatever it is we had, Heavenly Father, you came a mighty long way. It had not been possible had it not been for you, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you for that, Heavenly Father. Yes. And though we are praying, Heavenly Father, may you bless the choir this morning, Heavenly Father. Bless them so they may sing to the best of their ability, Heavenly Father. And we just pray that it be a sweet, sweet sound in your ear, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you for all the mothers that's here represented this morning, here, this morning, Heavenly Father. Thank you for all of our mothers, Heavenly Father. And we pray for all those, Heavenly Father. There's a lot of people in this world that don't have their mother for one reason or another, Heavenly Father. But we want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for not leaving us comfortless, Heavenly Father. So we just pray for all those who may have lost their mother, Heavenly Father. May you comfort them, Heavenly Father, and be with them at this time, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we want to pray for all the mothers that meet in the hospital this morning, Heavenly Father, who may have to have a surgery or an operation or whatever it is that's going on with them, Heavenly Father. We understand that you are adopting the sick who has never lost a patient, Heavenly Father. So we just pray this morning. You may go to them this morning, Heavenly Father. Be with them, Heavenly Father. Let them know that you are with them. For you said in your word that I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, Heavenly Father. And we believe your word to be true, Heavenly Father. So we can pray that you will take your healing hands, Heavenly Father. Touch them and heal them and make them whole, Heavenly Father. For it doesn't matter what the doctor tells them, Heavenly Father. You are the ultimate doctor, Heavenly Father. You got the final say so, Heavenly Father. So we just put it in your hands this morning, Heavenly Father. And again, Heavenly Father, we are grateful to be here at this time. We just grateful to be alive, Heavenly Father. We want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for our families and our church. Family, Heavenly Father. And continue to be with us, Heavenly Father. May you lead God direct us in the way that we should go. And at this time, we want to thank you for your son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who sacrificed his life for all mankind. So you may have the right to the tree of life and live life more abundantly. Now, Heavenly Father, you didn't have to send your only begotten son. But you did anyway. For that, we want to tell you thank you, Heavenly Father. And we understand that you did that because it was your love for us, Heavenly Father. And for that, we want to tell you thank you. And Christ, my Lord and my Savior, we want to thank you all that you went through from the time of your birth to the time of your death. Yes. When you died, but you just stayed there. You rose, rose on the third day and said the all power is given unto me. And we would have to want to tell you thank you. Thank you for coming back for your people. And we just pray, Heavenly Father, continue to be with us. Continue to be with us in this not only physical war, but spiritual warfare, yeah. Heavenly Father. Give us all that what we need, Heavenly Father. Continue to strengthen us when we are weak, Heavenly Father. Continue to help us find our way, Heavenly Father, even when we are lost and don't know which way to go, Heavenly Father. For we know that you are the ultimate way. You are the ultimate source, Heavenly Father. And the only thing we got to do is put our hands in your hands. And we ask all these things in Son's name. Amen. 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 Good morning, New Bethel. Good morning, Good morning New Bethel. We just like to say to all our mothers, Happy Mother's Day. Amen, amen, amen. This is a day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. Is there anybody glad to be here on today? Hallelujah. Are you glad to be in the house on this morning? Hallelujah. I tell you, God is great, and He's great to be praised. For those of you all that are streaming live with us, we are the New Bethlehem Missionary Baptist Church of Gary, Indiana. We're located at 2325 West on 21st Avenue, where I beloved pastor, the one and only Reverend O.B.C. Lyons. Amen. Hallelujah. Anybody know that every praise, all the praises belong to God. Did anybody come and give us some praise on this morning? Hallelujah. Wow. 
so good. Lord, you're so good. Bless me. 
got to go back. There's a sweet, sweet spirit in this place. And I know that it's the presence of the Lord. You know, sometimes you have to go through something in order to get to.
Sunday after Sunday and sit down on our blessed assurance as though God has not done anything for us. But I came to tell you this morning
for a moment. I just want to talk to you from this brief topic, the faith of a mother. Amen. 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 The faith of a mother. Father, we bless you and give you honor. God, we thank you this morning. God, we ask, Lord, that you would allow us to lead better than how we can. Speak your word to us, God, that we may be informed of who we are. Challenge us through your word, God, that we may be better than who we are. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> I discovered that children are born, children are born with destiny attached to their lives. Mothers, because of the special ingredient God has placed on the inside, Mother McLeod, of mothers, uh, they have a discernment about the attack that the enemy has already waged on their child. Y'all want to talk to me? When, when, when you are connected to God, you have a child, you understand uh, the specialties that your child already have, and you understand that the enemy is not satisfied because this child has been born because in essence he will have an effect for the kingdom of God. I wish I had somebody. Oh, okay, so let, let, let me call. Jochebed had a child by the name of Moses. Jochebed's name in the Hebrew means Jehovah is glory. And Jochebed, when she had her child, the Bible said that she bare a sign and when she saw him that he was a godly child, she hid him for three months. Uh -huh. and I just came to tell you that as a mother, yes. they can always see the best in their child. Yes. I wish I had somebody in here. Yes. Uh, there's always an argument when, when the child is messing up. Oh, the father would say, that's your child. Yes. Don't help me anymore. But when he's doing good, he's my child. But mothers will always claim their child regardless of if he's doing good or bad. And so this morning, I came to let you know that uh, when your child was born, there was an attack on his life. And so First Peter 4 and 12 said, But love, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is here to try you as though something strange is happening unto you. There's a reason why you're going through what you're going through. Yeah. It's because, yeah, the enemy has seen the calling on your life. Yeah. The enemy understands that you have a purpose and God has a plan for you. And therefore, yeah, the enemy is trying to stop you before you get started. Yeah. Hey, God, I bless your name. So the first thing I came to let you know, since the golf is, since golf son was on a big old billboard. That, that ain't my first point, but... Just let me know. She had a proud mother moment. She texted me the picture. Y'all help me in here. Amen. Don't hate because y'all, your son been on the billboard and he just didn't say what her said. <laughs> said if you see this number, call us. <laughs> let me move. First point I have this morning is you got to know your child. Yeah. 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 All right. I said you got more amens today. Because how many of us folk have called us about our children and the first word out of our, out of our mouth was, no, that ain't my child. I know my child. Let me move. You got to know your child. Mary knows who Jesus is. Because Mary understands uh, the promise that was given to her. She understands how he was conceived. She understands what the word said to her about her son and how he would there. Uh, he would be the son of the most high. He, he would there take on the throne of his father David and, and how there'd be no end to his kingdom. Uh, she understood the power that he had. Uh, and because she understood the power that he had, uh, she understood what he possessed. Uh, is there anybody in the room today uh, that knows about the son of God? Uh, anybody in here know uh, that he's worthy of your praise? Bible says in verse 3, when the wine ran out, uh, all the black folk left. No, that ain't what it said. <laughs> said when the wine ran out, Jesus' mother went to him. Because she know her son, she knows what his ability is. Mm. So she went to him 
Ah, uh, in verse 3, and she said that they have, there's no wine left. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but this is your season where you will never like anything again. Yeah. Oh God, I wish I had somebody right there. Because who has been invited into your life? When you invited Jesus into your life, he's more than enough. Anybody in the room today that know that my God shall supply all of my needs? Has anybody ever had your needs supplied? Is there anybody in the room today you didn't know how it was going to work out? You didn't know how you were going to make it? But God showed up yes, in the nick of time and brought you through. Because you who you invited. There is about to be an abundance or an overflow. Y'all ain't received this. Give me three people that are shot with me and I'll make number four. There's about to be an abundance or an overflow in your life. Amen. This will be the season that you will step up, step out, and step into your purpose. Anybody in here willing to declare and decree that this is my season? God is restoring me. He's bringing me out. He's going to put me on display. This is my season. So if this is your season, don't allow distractions to keep you from hearing the voice of God. Watch this. Don't miss this. So many miss the pre-work or the prep work. So therefore the performance is off. Mm. But you have, but you have not become what you will become following this. Jeremiah 1 and 5 said, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. And you were born and you were set apart. And see today, I've appointed you over nations and kingdoms to tear down, destroy, overthrow, and to build and to plant. And I have a word for somebody. Watch this. Don't miss this. Write this down. You don't have to announce that you're anointed. Your anointing will announce for you. Amen. But some of you, watch this. Oh, God bless your name. But some of you can't move in silence because you desire attention more than you do progress. Some folk got to tell everything. Yeah. Some folk, Brother Mingo, they got to tell everything. And if they don't tell it, they got to post it. Yeah. Yeah. Get so sick of looking at Okay, let me move. It's in verse 4. Francesca, that Jesus asked the question, Woman, why are you saying this to me? My time has not yet come. Sometimes as children, we don't understand what we possess yet. Y'all didn't say that. Let me talk to y'all. Sister Williams, sometimes we don't know what we got in us, but mama know. Mama said, I know what I put in you. I know what I prayed over you. I know what I spoke over your life. And I know what the Lord told me in return. So I know what's in you, but sometimes we don't know. So my second point, my last point, I'm get ready to go. My last point is, first point is, you got to know your child. Amen. Or I know your child. Amen. Second point is, encourage your child. Amen. It's right there in the text. Amen. I wish I had somebody in here. Amen. It's in the text. He said, my time has not yet come. Yeah. But she says in verse 5, his mother told him the service, whatever he tells you, do it. Yeah. Yeah. 2 Timothy 1 and 5, New English translation said, I recall your sincere faith that was alive first in your grandmother, Lois, and in your mother, Eunice. And I'm sure it's in you. Every once in a while, God has to stir up your gift. Yeah. Hey, God, I bless your name. So I came to tell you today that your, your destiny is not determined by your shoes you wear, but it's by the steps that you take. And I came to tell you that proper preparation prevents poor performance. Hey, God. Because you don't get what you want in life. You get what you prepare for. Because your preparation for something is the greatest evidence you believe is coming. And so if you believe it's on the way, you ought to start preparing for it. I wish I had somebody in the place today.
just start saying, hey, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Anybody in here preparing for what you've been praying for? There ought to be some praise. If you're preparing 
performed a miracle at that time. And when you have never done something before, don't talk to me in here. There's some hesitation. But mama know what he had. She know how he got here. And so she said, you know what? I ain't talking to you no more. Whatever he tell you to do, y'all better help me in here. I know what he possess. So whatever he tell you to do, hey God, do it. Jesus was the first chemist. He took water and he turned it to wine. Well, none of that cheap stuff you buy at the corner store. Because the man said, normally the best wine comes up. And then when you get drunk, you put the cheap stuff out. But you've held out to the end and put out the best. Jesus, the same way Brother Otis, he can turn water to wine. Whatever you're dealing with today, he can turn that around. Amen. I'm speaking to you. He can turn it around. The Bible said there's nothing too hard for God. He can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you ask to think, according to the power that worketh in you.
You been out there smoking that stuff? Yes, I have. Yes, ma'am. But mama used to pray every night. And one day, didn't have the taste no more. <laughs> didn't have the desire no more. Mama was praying. I don't know that she knew about this right here. But one day I was a little boy, somebody told her, he gonna preach. And with all the disgrace I brought my mama, I bring her the most proudest moments now. Every time she look at New Bethel Live, she can't help but to give God praise. Tanya Lyons. Amen. 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 Sister Nora Strong has treats on the table for all the mothers. Amen. Amen. All women, there are treats on the table for you. We want to continue to pray for all of our sick and our shut-in members. Sister Cassandra Jones, Sister Jackie Spears, she's at Methodist Hospital North Lake. Sister Johnny Martin, Sister Juanita Walker is recuperating at home, Deacon Charlie Berry, Minister Ralph Basemore, Reverend Michael Hedden, Sister Gladys Henderson, Sister Mary Parks Madison, Sister Noreen Richardson, that's Brother Terry and Sister Nora's mother, Sister Antoinette Cole, that's Sister Eloise May's daughter. Please continue to pray for all of them. And if I don't have your name to read, we're still praying for you because we pray for all sick and shut in everywhere. Thank you. Have a blessed week. Enjoy your Mother's Day. Thank you, Sister King. I'm certainly uh, was going to ask if you had the list. And let's add another name for that. Uh, Sister Linda Watkins, she just had surgery this week. Spoke with her on the other day, and she's doing well. Yeah. She's at home. Of course, I had to fuss first because I'm trying to figure out how I didn't know about it before it happened. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but we're just certainly grateful for her well-being. Um, pray for Sister Lyon. She uh, 
they're traveling again. And so she is traveling airways. And so certainly we want to. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I get up here and I do this because my mind is going a mile a minute. Our speaker for the pastor's anniversary is none other than Pastor John Scott II. Amen. Amen. And he's coming all the way from Ohio to be with us. So please, let's come Amen. on May 22nd and support Pastor Scott. Amen. 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 Uh, let's make sure we are here in place uh, for our guest. <clears throat> this slides is traveling, so let's make sure we keep her lifted in prayer. Amen. Amen. Uh, on Thursday, I believe, I was going to work and uh, driving her little car. Raccoon ran out in front of me. And believe it or not, I hit a raccoon and it tore the whole fender off the front of the car. Uh, and, you know, I sent her a video to show her. Y'all come on, let's say it. Let's get ready to go. I sent her a video, Sister Williams, of damage. And to my surprise, I thought she was going to call fussing. You done tore up my little car. But she called me laughing so hard. Amen. I could not believe that a raccoon could literally just about total a car out. <laughs> and so y'all pray for me because now I got to get a car fixed. Amen. So sister game, anniversary came up soon enough. <laughs> you right. <laughs> Treat your mother if your mother's still here. And even if she's not, go out and celebrate her. Amen. Because she lives on through you. Amen. This has been a great day. Amen. Y'all pray for me. Amen. Bring my strength in the Lord. Amen. Come on, let's get ready to go. Get your gift in your hand. Amen. Get your gift. Get your gift. Father, we bless you today. God, we thank you for what our ears have heard, what our hearts have felt. Then, God, we thank you for the names that were called today, God. We know, God, that you, there's no limitation on your ability. So today, God, we're asking, God, in every situation that you be who you are. Father, I ask today, God, just like Mother Mary said, whatever you tell us to do, that's what we're going to do. Because God, in order to see the effects of your glory, we've got to be obedient to your voice. And so today, God, we are thanking you in advance. Because you didn't do one miracle, but you are still doing miracles. You are a miracle worker. And so today, God, we give you honor and glory. We thank you in advance. For every situation. Because you're going to turn it for the good. And so God, we bless your wonderful day. We thank you this morning for this value people. Ask you God to go with them. Stand by and lead them and God. Keep them going. In the mighty name of Jesus. Allow your face to continue to shine upon us. As we leave this place but never from your prayer. Go with us. Stand by us. Lead us and God. Bless the ones they have to give and those that have the heart they don't have. God, we know, God, that you will supply every one of their needs. You don't look at the amount, you look at the motive. And so today, God, we're thanking you for the blessing. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Thank you for these musicians, God. Keep your hand of protection around them. In Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen.